So today is the last lesson on uh, Liszt B minor sonata with François Lambré. We we will work on the on the end of the sonata, the stretta, quasi presto, which leads to um, the sort of first end of the sonata. But um, as maybe you know, Liszt was not satisfied with the first end he had written, which was an end very very virtuoso, loud, with a fortississimo, and, so. and he, um, he decided to change the end and to write a slow and a very soft end. So this is what we are going now to hear with François Lambré. So we start at bar number 634. Thank you. so long. Um, well, I, I like very much the atmosphere you were creating at the beginning here. I like the sound you, you produce. Um, just be careful have some a, a bit more definition mm. when you play so pianissimo. I have noticed already several times that when you want to play very soft, dolce, dolcissimo, you play a little bit uh, too, I mean, not deep enough. Okay. You play sort of mm. like that. Yes, sir. So you... you okay. Mm. So very often there are some notes missing. You see? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Don't play too much like that. Okay. I don't like very much this sort of uh, ritenuto you are doing here before. Okay. It should lead mm -hmm. to this uh, same tempo. I mean, not same tempo because it, it's uh, written poco animato. Mm -hmm. But um, in the in the continuous. Yes. Okay. But why is it a different? Why is it diff different? Different mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Crescendo molto. 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 Okay. You can you can really have it. Okay. 
like if the keyboard was so hot that it would... Oh, no, no, yum, something really... Remember what he wrote the first time, yeah. in calzando. Yeah. Oh, it's so... You're burning yourself, you're burning your fingers. No pedal, no pedal, no pedal, okay. please. Yes. Papam. 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 Yeah, I think, I think that should be slightly different. You have. And then. With this crescendo. This is forte con strepito. So run, run. make a lot of noise here. <laughs> Fair because you start the stringendo <laughs> when it's easy. Okay. <laughs> the stringendo has to, to start already uh, yeah. before. question is how fast are you able to play <laughs> what is the fastest you can play no I I'm, I'm this is a very serious question yeah, I actually. can do of course you know it's like intensity mm. it's a matter of how loud you are able to play of how course. soft of course. how soft you are able to play and then you can set your standard of intensity and and uh, speedness or, 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 or slowness so actually, if you think that you are not able to play faster than uh, da, 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 this is your prestissimo. Okay. In this case, the presto, which is before, okay. has to be slower. Okay. You have to remember that there are a lot of small uh, crescendo and accents that are written. So it's not only... Um, da, 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 da. That's it. For the um, clarity of the of the of the harmonies, uh, you have to take a little bit more time here. 
because after this big Cheat here. Okay, please your octave. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Then. Yes. Exactly. Same tempo. Okay. And same. long is there you know mm -hmm. and the diminuendo doesn't mean it's subito pianissimo mm -hmm. <laughs> it means after this mm -hmm. the ritenuto is going to end only here so you have still four bars okay. No. We don't have the same mm. edition or what? <laughs> yeah, the poco. It's poco crescendo. It shouldn't be. I mean, I. Uh, okay, like that. I mean, my. Okay. And then you can take some time because it's un poco ralentando. I'm, I don't know if I'm right or not, but I have to say that I like to hold the pedal okay. all the time. Fiammata.
what is so wonderful in this end that we get to this chord which is a sixth fourth sixth uh, carte sixth and without the B we know I mean it's unmistakable we know that we are in this B major which, which, which we have been seeking for the whole mm. for the whole piece and then this is as as I said the Graal and also it could just be missing we hear it without playing it we hear it but then eventually we play it so. well we have make made a long journey <laughs> I remember that uh, a pianist said about the Liszt sonata that every time you played it and even if you played it for a hundred times it was every time a new journey mm. and a long and big journey very impressive and I, I do agree because it's um, it's a it's a kind of piece you can play for the whole your your your, your life I mean entire life and every time you will find new uh, new things and you will that's why I've begun so, so yes <laughs> yes you are you are perfectly <laughs> right and I'm uh, sure I'm going to I think it's, it's very fine I, I didn't play it very young I played it first time maybe I was 30 but I knew the piece when I was a, a student at the conservatoire and thanks God I, I knew already very well the, mm. the, the music so I hope that what I told you uh, would be of some help sure. for you um, I would just like to remind you to be careful about this standard of uh, tempo to be, of to be to remember all the time that this is a sonata mm. even if there are so many mm. different and various episodes it's a fantasy, yeah. yes <laughs> it's not just a fantasy mm. when he wants a fantasy he writes a fantasy he likes uh, the fantasia quasi una sonata mm. in the second uh, an exactly. in the Dante, in yeah. Italy the, what we call the Dante sonata mm. but he said first fantasy mm. quasi una sonata but this is sonata of course mm. no mistake this has to be a sonata and that's it so thank you Bravo. thanks a lot bye bye <laughs>
ミシェル・ダルベルトのアドバイスの入った楽譜がテキストに載っています。